Hey everyone, welcome back to the Brompton Family Time. Today we're going to be doing a little overview on the Ombra sunglasses. All right. <laughs> See, they don't fall off. Dizzy. These glasses are made by a company called Ombras, and this particular model is called the Dolomite. I have been wearing them for about uh, one year now. So I'd like to point out some pros and cons with these glasses, and here we go. The first pro to these glasses for me is that they're armless. So on the sides, it goes all around to the other side is a simple string. So there's no chance of breaking the arms. When Tan Tan was younger, he broke maybe three of my glasses. Um, you know, he would just grab them when I'm sleeping and rip the arms <laughs> off. And I've had this problem uh, with my other kids too. So this eliminates that problem. The second pro to these is I have always had a problem with my glasses staying on my face. So every three to five seconds, I would always have to do this. I don't know if you guys do this, but I've been a glass wearer, you know, all my life. And, you know, you constantly doing this with normal glasses. And with this, you just cinch them in to place and you, you never touch your face again. And that's what I really like about these glasses. Another reason I like these glasses is they sit close to my face. So when I'm out riding my bike, I can see better. The problem with regular glasses is they do sit further away from your face. And when you're riding a bicycle, your head's tilted forward. And when you're bike, biking around tilted forward, you lose the vision from up here. And you know, you, for me, I can't see because I'm uh, nearsighted. So I have trouble looking at traffic lights and anything further off in the distance. And these glasses eliminate that problem. Because no matter where you look, up or down, they're, they're flat against your face, so visibility has increased dramatically. When you buy these glasses, they come in a nice case. And inside the case, they actually have a, a cloth attached to them, so you can keep your glasses clean. And these are made for backpacking, so this case is very nice. And you can see it's very thin. And once, you're, once it's in the case in your backpack, I don't think you have to worry about it breaking especially since they have no arms. These are originally sunglasses. Mine are both um, prescription. So these have, uh, you know, my prescription lenses inside. This pair of glasses has the polarized lenses in it as well as my prescription. So when I'm out backpacking and hiking, I wear these a lot. This one is Shoko's pair. She actually got a different model. I'll put the name of this model in the video now, but she likes these as well. And hers are regular sunglasses without the prescription. They do have sales throughout the year, so you can get them at a nice price. And one of these pairs of sunglasses, they should last you for the rest of your life. I mean, they're really well built. The quality is nice. Um, I just don't, I don't see them breaking unless you scratch the lenses or whatnot, but then you can always have the lenses replaced. I'm gonna turn my head so you guys get a better look of what it looks like when I'm wearing them. Okay, you ready? <laughs> and yeah, I did cut my hair because uh, I got tired of, uh, you know, having hair. It's just, I didn't see any benefit of having hair, so. This is how uh, I normally was. Some of you may be new to this channel, but usually for the past 15, 20 years, I never really had hair. I just started to grow my hair to see if I was actually going bald or not. Cause a lot of my friends, they, they have these, uh, you know, bald spots happening, you know? No matter what hat you put on, you know, it's comfortable. The cordage here, it wraps around your ear like this. You know, you can loosen them or make them tighter depending on the activity. On the back, it's simply held on by this cord and in, you simply pull it like this to make it tighter or you just grab the ends and it loosens up. This is the original cordage that came with the glasses. I've been wearing them every day and they're still very nice and tight. Um, the only problem I've had with these is this thing right here. This plastic cover that, that hides the uh, metal piece, it does come off. So you gotta put them on or, uh, you know, push them back on. Um, 
maybe you could glue them, but they, they don't really bother me. So I just slide it back on when I notice that it comes off. All right. The only con to these is condensation. So when I leave my house and I start riding my bike, they do start to fog up. Or if I go into a store or out of a store, they do start to fog up. And the solution to that problem is to simply pull them a little bit and you leave a little bit of space in between here and just let let the all of that moisture escape and the lenses clear up right away all right so that is the one downside to having these glasses for me uh, but you know over time i've learned to you know tilt them forward and they simply uh work fine they're made for out the outdoor you know and I believe they're perfect for riding your bike, I, you know, fishing, everything. I wear them every day now. I don't think I can go back to regular glasses because these have been working uh, really great for me. I like this hat. This hat feels better. Style-wise, they do have uh, different options, you know, that you can get um, depending on the shape that you want. I believe they have probably have like four or five options. They do have different sizes, so make sure you get the right size. Um, Shoko originally tried my size here. This is the smaller size, and it made her head look big, so she actually has the bigger size. This hat, this hat, which hat should I wear? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and this year they did release something new. On these glasses, they actually have these attachments where you can block out more of the light and they go on the sides here and i believe there's one piece here so if you're you know out on the ice or snow you know snowboarding or whatever so you don't get snow blindness you can put those attachments on and uh yeah that'll help eliminate the light from getting in even more okay that accessory doesn't work with mine i guess my design was uh older so they'll only work with the uh, newer design so if you get them now, you won't have that problem. You won't have a problem of them not working. All right, so if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe and uh, check out these sunglasses. The sunglasses without the prescription, I think they're pretty reasonable. With prescription, you're just gonna have to find out how much it's gonna be. I believe mine cost about $400, $400 around that area. So for me, it's reasonable. And you know, you can check if your prescription glasses will be covered by your eyeglass insurance as well. So good luck with that, and I'll see you guys next time. All right.